21 Jump Street, um, Barry Diller came to me, and he was trying to get high-profile producers, about three of us, to come over from our, our big networks and join what Brandon lovingly called the Coat Hanger Network, Fox. You, know, you had to have a coat hanger on the back of your TV to get it. And, um, you know, and, and what Barry very smartly did was he, he, instead of, we were all still having to do pilots. Nobody got on the air orders back then. They had, they had been doing that subsequently, but Barry was the first guy that I ever heard of that basically called up a producer and said, you have 13, now come up with a show. And that's basically what he did. And that was his ploy to get guys like me and Levitt and Moy and people like that away from the networks to do, to, to do shows for Fox. Well, somebody tells me I get 13 on the air, you know, and, 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 and the, the, yeah, I have to do a pilot, but it's not a question of whether we'll go forward with a show or the pilot's just the first episode. So I had a writer working in my company named Patrick Hasberg, who had, who had been my co-creator on Hardcastle and McCormick. And, um, and so, uh, you know, he was sort of between gigs at the moment, and I wanted to get him on something. And I, and I called Barry up and I said, I want to do this with Patrick. And he said, fine, because he was a known quantity. So Patrick and I were going to co-create the show. So we, we came up with an idea for 21 Jump Street. Or no, excuse me, we came up for an idea for the show. It wasn't 21 Jump Street, it was another idea altogether. And Garth Ansir was the, was the head of development for the network. And we got this idea together and we pitched it to Garth at lunch. Prior to going to lunch, um, I had a meeting with Mike Post. It was about four days earlier. And it was on some music issue. And he's sitting in my office and he's saying, damn, this thing happened to me this morning. I go, what? He goes, well, my, my house got robbed over the weekend. And when we got home, you know, they'd broken the window and stolen our TVs and stuff. And then we call the cops. The cops come out, file a report. And the, guy, and the cop it was getting late. And the cop said, look, instead of waiting around for this to get typed up and brought back and signed, why don't you come down to the Hollywood Division station in the morning and, and sign, sign it down there? So he said, OK. So he goes down the next day to sign this police report so he can get it into his insurance company. And um, he looks over, and he sees this young kid doing his homework um, at, the, at the desk. And the kid reaches into his back pocket and pulls out a gun and a badge and throws it in a desk door and kicks it shut. And when the cop comes over with a report, he says, who's, who's this little boy with a fucking gun and a badge, you know? And, uh, and the guy goes, oh, that's not a little boy. That's one of our bio officers. And Mike says, well, what's that? And he goes, oh, we have these, we go and we look into the academy and we find these officers look really young. I mean, so that they're, they're 20, 22 years old, but they look like they're 15, 16. And when we find one like that, we put them in our buy program and basically shoot them back into high schools to work drugs. And I thought, God, that's amazing. I never heard of that. You know, and he said, what's interesting about it, the cop told him, is these guys have to take chemistry again and all that kind of stuff. So anyway, so I thought, okay, that's, that's kind of really interesting. So I, just, I just filed it away and forgot it, you know. So now we go to pitch our idea for the Fox show to Garth, and Patrick and I pitch it. And he kind of sitting there after it's over, and he says, I don't think anybody told you, but maybe you should have been told, but, but, but we aren't doing just, you know, this is a fine show. We work fine on the other, other networks, but we're trying to get the 11 to 15-year-old demographic. It's a demographic that's not being served on network television. And we feel we can carve out a niche if we can get the 11 to 15-year-old demographic. And nobody had ever told me that. And I go, oh, God. He said, so what we really, I mean, this is fine, but we're not going to do this because it's, 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 it's going to skew too old. We want something that's going to skew young. And sitting right there, I remember what Mike had said. I said, okay, I got something. Now, this hasn't worked out, but let me just start. And I just pitched it to him, what I just told you. And literally, he went, that's it, fine, let's do that. And we had it sold right there. So then Patrick and I went back, and we, and we worked out Hanson and, and, and Hoffs and all the characters. And, and then Patrick wrote the two-hour pilot. I did not write that pilot. And, um, and he did a great job on it, and that was the beginning of Jump Street.